Were you there when Hurricane Katrina hit? No, I was in New York, right outside of New York, actually, and I heard that it was going to hit on a Saturday, and I was concerned about the welfare of my family, so, but I couldn't get in touch with anybody because all the phone lines were down. Well, it, this storm kind of came and went and missed New Orleans. It didn't really hit yeah. New Orleans. The next day, I turned on the news, and the levees, I don't know if you guys know that New Orleans is shaped like a, like a bowl and most of the residential area is in that lower part. It's actually 20 feet below sea level. And we have these levees, which are basically big mounds of dirt and concrete to keep the water out. Well, the levees broke, and you know all of that water came in and just filled up this bowl. Um, and, it, and it stood there for probably six weeks like that. Oh. Were you prepared for the devastation no. when you got back? I mean, no, you're talking about, people don't realize how big yeah. New Orleans is. Yeah. You're talking about hundreds of thousands of homes and, and, and hundreds of thousands of people. No, it was terrible. I mean, like, you, you find yourself in these, my, my Aunt Jessie and Uncle John, my Aunt Jessie's probably 71, my Uncle John's probably 81, and they, they were on, you know, the... They're, they're, they had to come rescue them by boat. Next thing you know, they're on the interstate trying to hitchhike to, to Houston. And That's you're thinking, just, man, this is... This is wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah and they yeah, have yeah. money. Yeah, I mean, the yeah. people who didn't have money, uh, oh, I could go on and on about the things I saw. It was very, very confusing. Must have been real confusing for you guys over here. Oh, terrible. You yeah, know? especially when it's... A, I'd been there and I'd, I'd sort of... I spent a lot of time so there. So you went prior to Katrina then? Yeah, prior. Okay. And, was, and all I talked about, and we showed the... It was a travel show, and we showed it on the television. This lot will tell you. Me being carried up Bourbon Street. <laughs> carried being the operative word. Carried, yeah, having yeah. A, such a good time in the place. And up singing at 1 o'clock in the afternoon in a bar, and I can't sing, singing Hard Hearted You Hannah. sound pretty good on Alfie a minute ago. I, <laughs> I, was, yeah. I, was, I just had such affection for the place. It's a great time. I hope that doesn't keep you from going back. No, no, I'm going to go back. I hope yeah, you do, because, yeah, yeah. yeah. you know, Bourbon Street's the same. The yeah. French Quarter happened to be on the, on, on the fringe of that yeah. bowl, so all of that's fine. Yeah. Um, it's just going to take some time to get, yeah. get the neighborhoods back. And they're such nice people. Oh, they're great. Aren't they? Aren't, yeah, you they're know, great you, people. But you've got this mixture of voodoo and jazz yeah. and the blues. Yeah. And it's just wild. It's, I mean, it's like nowhere else. It you know? is, yeah. It's yeah. really, you know, New York is great. Uh, San Francisco is great. There's a lot of wonderful places in the States, but there's no place like New Orleans. Quite right, yeah. 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 And it has a strange effect because all my friends who've been to New York, we've all, I mean, quite sort of ordinary people. I mean, I'm very respectable, but I turned. <laughs> God, I did, Harry. <laughs> and I was ricocheting down the streets. I, mean, I just loved the place. I was really, really devastated. Well, you're our kind of guy, man. Yeah. We'd like to have you, have you back. And, and uh, again, I, ho I hope people, if they do decide maybe for a holiday to go to the States that they visit, because not only is it still a wonderful place, but New Orleans really needs that. They need yeah. that influx of, of tourism dollars. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. Oh, we're, we're all going, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah, let's fly. So if I organise a coach trip, we're all going to New Orleans. Right, you're sorted. I'll, I'll be your personal tour guide. Leave it to us. That's yeah. it. That's it. And I'll drive the coach. <laughs> Paddy, I, I've got a CD of yours, which I absolutely love, called Eleven. Mm, oh, yeah, yeah, that's right, yeah. that's right. And well, that's you as a little boy on the cover, isn't mm -hmm. it? Yeah. Now, when, when did you learn to play the piano? Well, we had a piano in the house, and I started playing much like a lot of children do. They started plinking around uh, when I was about three years old, but I don't think I was doing anything remarkable then. Sometimes I don't think I'm doing anything remarkable wow. now. But as time went on, uh, I started getting lessons, and being in New Orleans, you could go down to the French Quarter and listen to music, yeah. you know, when you're six, seven years yeah. old, because it was... These jazz clubs were sort of these open air places yeah. and they had music in the afternoon. Fabulous. So my parents would take me down and I'd play. And when I was nine years old, I re did my first record. And then I recorded my second record, the one you have when yeah. I was 11. Yeah. And, it, and looking back at the people, because just about all those guys have, have passed on on the cover and they are some legendary guys. Oh, it's brilliant. Yeah. It's, it's, it's on the iPod, you know. It's and oh, there's another cool. track of yours, I'm mad on, uh, Had to Be You. Oh, thanks. Because the orchestration is that's wild. Good, and in the middle, you've got that tom tom, that bum, bum, yeah. bum, bum. Which always makes you want to go around the kitchen stripping when they bum, 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 bum. bum. <laughs> you know, it's, it's odd you say that, Paul, because when I recorded it, that's actually what I had in mind. Oh, really? Yeah. It's meant to be a strip. Yeah. I say, say I'm on the ball. I tell it's wonderful. It's just yeah. it's one of my favorite tracks. It wasn't just anybody. I actually had you on my mind. Ah, well, you so. say. Yeah. Say. It's funny how that we're, we're finally meeting now. I know. That's the fates, huh, Harry? I'm on the road with Harry. See ya. I don't know who's taking over. <laughs>
<laughs> when are you going on the road with the band? Yeah, we're coming yeah. over here uh, October 20th, and we'll be yeah. we're touring around the UK. We end up at the Albert Hall on November 3rd, and Brilliant. we're playing different yeah. cities around the UK. Yeah. So. Where else are you doing? Any, can you tell us? Birmingham, or? Manchester, Glasgow. Uh, oh, geez, I'm I'm trying to remember all the places we're playing. Yeah. They haven't That's showed me the entire. It's schedule. not a fair question to ask you where you're going on tour right. because your mind goes. I know. I don't know. I don't know where I'm going tomorrow. <laughs> much as, you know. I don't know where I'm going after this. <laughs> tomorrow. Now look, are you now? Uh, did uh, the pajama game on Broadway? Yeah. Is that going to come to the West End? No, no. That no. that was it. Uh, it's a great show, and I had a lot of fun doing it on Broadway, but. Eight times a week of the pajama game, I'm, I'm kind of pajamaed yeah, out now. It you know is. I mean? so. The matinees are the killer, aren't they? Well, we had an interesting schedule because we did two shows on a Wednesday, uh, one Thursday night, one Friday night, two Saturday and two Sunday. Oh, so I had two, two days off. I had Monday and Tuesday just to sort of decompress and spend yeah. time with my family and everything. But it's the two, you know, you, you know, you come off and then you think, I've got to go back on and do all I this know, But you know, I, I didn't, it sounds unbelievable, but I never felt like that. Yeah. We'd finish one show and I'd be excited and that was going on for a couple of weeks. And I said, I got to burn out at some point. I can't yeah, yeah. maintain this enthusiasm. Yeah. But I did. Yeah. I really, really did. It was just a great experience. It's a great show, that. It's, it's got fun. a great score. Yeah, yeah. 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 Hey I, there and uh, Steam Heat and yeah, songs like yeah. that. Yeah, Hernando's Hideaway. That's right. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Are you doing any more? You've got a new movie, haven't you? A new movie with Hilary Swank. It's called oh, P.S. I Love You. Uh, Isn't and that a song, P.S. I Love it's, You? It is, but the yeah. movie was, was, uh, has nothing to do with the song. Yeah. Uh, and then I'm about to do a film with uh, Renee Zellweger, which I haven't even met her yet, so I'm excited to yeah. do that. Do you like the acting? I do. Yeah, yeah I yeah. really do. Have you ever done any acting? Or? Well, yeah, well, they all. <laughs> <laughs> I was, um, I was a, a, a policeman's informant, what we call a grass over here, in a, in a cop show called The Bill. Oh, really? Yeah. And what did you think? Did you enjoy the... I did. Uh, yeah, I'm surprised they paid me. <laughs> and then I played... Um, I was a, a social worker in a movie. And then I was... Hey, you know, it's funny, because I'm not asking for your whole career. I just asked you if you're... Yeah. <laughs> I thought I was going to get a job. <laughs> Honey, I tell you what, this is a great day for the O'Grady's. It really is to finally meet you in the flesh and to watch you perform. Thank you. And that's not flannel. That's a, I mean that. Thank that, you so it's much. It's a real treat. I so admire you. Thanks. I really Thanks do. Thanks a lot, Paul. Ladies and gentlemen, please, the one and only Mr. <laughs> Harry Thomas Jr. Thank you. Come on. The business. Thank you. Okay, great show, huh? Oh, that's a brilliant audience.